Hey folks, Mike here again. Today I want to talk about my bass drum or my bass drum trigger. Uh, when I showed you my video about converting my e-drum set, uh, I just talked about that bass drum trigger, just showed you a photo I remember. But today I want to show you the trigger in detail, how it's assembled, how it's built, about the prices and the overall quality. So stay tuned. So here it is. This is the construction from Ronka Drums. It's completely made out of stainless steel. It's a 10 arm system. You may have seen this before. I have a similar approach on my snare drum, which is built by Art Drums. This one is built from Jörg Ronka. It's a German metal engineer. Unfortunately, he does not offer his triggers anymore because he ended up doing those triggers. So I was lucky to get one about two years ago. As I said, this is complete, uh, completely made out of stainless steel. It's a 10 arm system, but it's, um, it's a 22 by 18 inch bass drum, but it's fully adjustable to any size between 18 and 24 inch and adjustable to a system with um, eight or six lugs because York, when he builds the system, you see here those um, single holes, you can adjust the arms if you have a bass drum, which is um, quite like common a bass drum with just eight lugs so you can fully adjustable the size just for the just uh, the same for the triggers i use in my uh, toms and snare with this trigger system you do not damage the shell it's completely removable so you can play your bass drum acoustically again the smart thing uh, jörg did when he built uh, and assembled this one had the idea is kind of that inside ring that this is a kind of a um, dampening ring um, so that the bass drum beater or like the hitting surface is just that 8 or 10 inch in, um, area here so you have no um, issues of double trigger triggering or that um, your bass drum beater like it um, causes that wobbling mesh head um, to, that's, that's moving, moving around so you just hit in that area this ring dampens the mesh head quite a bit Underneath this dampening ring, there's still some kind of um, rubber connections here. I will show you some photos to see uh, to show it in detail. So uh, you have a nice feel, and it's um, kind of an acoustic feel because you can really bury the beater. I will play just um, a single stroke, some strokes uh, later on in this video to show you how it reacts. You can really uh, tune the head quite loosely. So you really have not to like tighten up the mesh head like you would do on your um, snare drum on your thumbs. You can like really play, have an acoustic feel if you're one of the guys who bury the uh, the beater inside the head like I do. So this is a kind of a cool feeling. Uh, this foam is quite sensitive. Um, it only uh, just really reacts to like tiny hits. You have to adjust your uh, module inside, of course, with the sensitivity settings and the threshold. Uh, but with some adjustments this works really fine. I have this trigger now for two years. I have absolutely no issues with that. Um, the assembling takes me, uh, took me a lot, just like one hour. Just as I said, unfortunately Jörg does not offer this one anymore. Um, so I'm quite happy to have one of those um, and it will probably last forever. Uh, and for all of you guys thinking this is kind of over-engineered, um, basically it's not because you have to think about the um, amount of power and the vibration the bass drum gets after like one or two years of playing every time every day you play like one or two hours with your bass drum beater hitting the mesh head quite heavily so this system is self-supporting uh, and of course the more mounting arms you have within the trigger system um, the more stable the whole system gets um, when you have just like one single bar going from uh, one lug to another it can sometimes like broke due to the vibrations and the heavy um, power you hit into the mesh head on the system so this is a really self-supporting uh, system stainless steel as i said probably lasts forever the only thing you may have to exchange after some time is that foam because sometimes the glue um, gets lost kind of lost uh, but it's no problem you can buy one of those separately um, the foam i think comes from art drums anyway um, and they offer those um, foam separately so you can exchange it quite easily. So that's the system. As you see, um, we have, I have a quite common bass drum uh, head on the outer side. 
uh, which is b with a built-in um, plug-in connector so I can um, directly plug in the cable from the outside so I do not have to damage the shell for the connection. Um, quite solid system, I'm very happy with that. Uh, and I'll show you how it looks and like sounds like within, uh, when I play it acoustically. So that was my review of my bass drum trigger. I hope you find this interesting. As always, if you have any questions regarding this topic, my e-drum set or any topic e-drum related or drum sample related, leave a comment below, ask me some questions. Thanks so far for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.